Welcome to Flash CS6 Tutorial 14, Random Question Test. We're going to start by opening a new FLA, Action Script 3. And the first thing we want to do is on the timeline is call this frame F R M name N A M as in frame names. Go up to frame 11, insert a blank keyframe, and I know it's on frame 11 there. Uh, by the way, this is a tutorial for beginners, meaning I will do a lot of explaining. Select that frame, open the properties panel, and type in this name, uh, Q-U-B-K, capital Q, capital B, K-1. So it means question bank question one. Copy that. Go to frame 21. Insert blank keyframe. See down here, it tells me that that's the name of that label. Open this properties panel. Paste it in and change the one to a two. Go up to 31. And I'm going to do this all the way up to 71. Paste it in, change this into a 3. And I'll do that and get back to you. I just did 61 and insert a blank keyframe. Open the properties panel, paste it in. And this is going to be seven. I'm doing seven questions on my quiz. You can do as many as you wish. And go to frame 81, insert a blank keyframe. Make sure it's selected. Open the properties panel, frame, and give it this name, test over. So in each of these sections we're going to make a, a test of some sort. Now to help us keep track we're going to make another layer lock that layer, insert a new layer, bring it down to the bottom, and just call this test, as in a temporary type of a layer. It won't be here when we're finished. I want to see this corner here of my stage. Come here, insert a blank keyframe, Pick up your text tool, open the properties panel, make sure static text is selected. I got Times New Roman and I got 12 points and then I have black. Embedded, click that. Make sure that upper, lower, numeral punctuations are selected. OK. And now with our text tool up here, we call this QU same name as what we call the frame capital B K 1 pick up your selection tool go down here to frame 21 insert a keyframe not a blank keyframe a keyframe double click on this make that a 2 click here on 31 Insert a keyframe, double click on it, make it a three, and again I'll do the rest of these and get back to you. I just did number seven, and what these are for is when we're working on this program it'll help us keep track where we are. So let's do a quick test. It should just run through those quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, space, one, there we go. Now if at any time a test doesn't work, stop and go back and fix it before you move on. We're going to lock all the layers. I'm selecting the test layer, I'm inserting the layer and calling this quiz. Q U I Z. This is where my quiz questions and answers are going to be. Select this frame for bank 1. Insert a keyframe or blank keyframe, doesn't matter at this point in time because there's nothing here to to bring up. 
pick up your text tool again select that pick up your text tool make a text box open the properties panel again make sure static text is selected this time I want it to be like 30 points or something like that this is going to be my first question making the box bigger H A L I F A X Halifax is the C A P I T A L capital of N S Halifax is the capital of Nova Scotia and we have two possible answers for that naturally yes no pick up the rectangle tool if you're not seeing a rectangle here click in this corner right there and select rectangle this is the outside of the rectangle this is the inside I want this to be like a radish color and I'm going to make a little square pick up my selection tool highlight it right click copy it right click paste in place using my arrow keys I'm just moving it over and I'm just clicking so the center is fuzzy if I double click it all gets fuzzy I just want the center fuzzy come over here to my fill bucket and give that a different color so I have two different colors pick up your selection tool highlight this modify convert to a symbol make sure a button is selected and give it this name I'm calling it QBK1 as a question bank one and this is my true answer underscore BTM and by true I mean it is the correct answer okay by true I mean it's the correct answer so I'm pressing OK and the correct answer for this would be actually be true so if I double click on this now I'm inside of that button I want to lock this layer call this the button BUT insert layer make sure the layers on top call this text TEXT pick up your text tool make a text box and that's probably way too big of a font let's go down to about 13 or so let's see if that fits stretch it out and this is true T R U E red won't look good on red so highlight it come down here and let's make it black pick up your selection tool put that right on there so that's the correct answer go back to scene one I like this modify it convert it to a symbol and it was going to be Q U B K one this is this is a false answer F A L S E capital F underscore B T N and let's copy that right click copy and paste this in for an instance name and I think I have an instance name on this one nope so paste it in here and this got to be true T R U E alright so now go back to this one and I want to copy that here right click just copying it all I'm copying is this inside this blue back to scene one double click on this one lock this layer this is the button B U T insert a layer this is the text and if I come up here right click paste in place this is the false answer and that is the graphics or text required for question one now let's do question two click on here right click blank insert blank keyframe and here we want to put some kind of a statement 
and this is what I have. I'll show you what I have, then I'll go through it with you. This is just a text box using the text tool. Okay, and there's what I have. Let's make sure it's static text, and I have a 20 points. I used the same format on the last one as this one, where I made this one a button, and the answer would be 202 plus 303 is 505. So this particular button, when I made it, I used the same format. I called it question bank 2, the true, meaning it's the true answer, underscore BTN. And I did the same thing, double clicked on it. And I have that one layer contains the box and the other layer contains the text, same format. So naturally, this one would be a false qbk2 false and because there's three buttons this is my first one which I'm calling a underscore btn this one is Q question bank 2 false b underscore btn and naturally this one's going to be the same thing with a c so I have that one done Let's move on to question three. Selecting that frame 31, insert a blank keyframe. And here's a text box. I can make it a bit larger if I want, just by opening the properties panel and making this here larger. What is this? And if I want it to be on a straight line, I do that. I drew a rectangle using my rectangle tool and I have four answers. Naturally this one's false A, false B, false C, and true. So let's look at those. This is a button. I use that symbol up here, modify, convert to symbol. Open it up and it is Q U B K question bank three false A underscore B T N. I copied it. Put it in here and call it false B did this one false C and naturally this is going to be true Q U B K 3 true underscore B T N I will do the remainders unless there's something different and I'll get back to you I have the rest of them done this one I have called Lords of the Rings, and naturally, its rings is going to be my true answer. So it's Q U B K four true. The other ones are going to be false A and false B. Here, this is a rectangle. This time the answer is false. So this button here that has the false in it, if I click on it, it's going to be called true. Because that's true in, in this respect means the correct answer and I have one more is this red red is true so this would be the true answer and this would be the false answer and finally I have this one a math one 2 times 14 is 24 we know that's false in this case false is the correct answer so if I check this false this should be true up here Okay, I'm sure you got that. Let's do a little bit of action code for these questions. Make sure all the layers are locked. Select that top layer, insert a layer, call it AS as an action script. Select frame four. Click on it, look down here, frame four. Insert a keyframe or blank keyframe at this time. Open up the actions. Nope, not yet. Let's make this 50% so we can see everything. I want to pick up my oval tool. So click on the corner here, oval tool. I want my button to be greenish color with a black stroke. Hold the shift down and make a little circle. Pick up your selection tool, modify. Oops, got to highlight it. Pick up selection tool. Highlight it, 
modify it, convert it to a symbol. Again, make sure button is selected on this drop down menu and give it this name, paste. I'm calling it select question underscore BTN, capital S E L, capital Q U underscore BTN. Copy that. Open the properties panel. There it is, it's a button and paste that in for an instance name. Uh, I made an error with this. I called it action script. This should actually be called ST as in start BTN start button. Now let's lock that layer. All of them locked. Now let's insert the action script layer AS. Let's select frame four of that actions layer now. Insert a keyframe or blank keyframe. Open the actions panel right here. If you don't have it here, it's going to be up here under window. And there it is. You can click it and it will open up. So I'm opening it up. And I'm going to put in this code. Type, 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 type. That's that button we just made, that green button. Select Q u underscore btn period add event listener small a capital e capital l that will turn blue open bracket mouse event capital m capital e period and this click is all capitals that will turn blue all that will turn blue if it's spelt right comma and we're calling the function select s-e-l-e-c-t capital s close bracket semicolon function turns purple there's that call in that function called select the one we just labeled open bracket event small e colon mouse event capital M capital E close bracket colon void void and function are the same color there's an open curly bracket and as you start to type this line in you'll get this close curly bracket we're saying go to and stop small g small t capital A capital S that turns blue open bracket quotation. We're going to go to that frame that we labeled QUBK1. That's one of those labels we for the first question. Close quotation, close bracket, semicolon. So let's just see if that works. Test movie test. Again, if this doesn't work, stop here. Now see it's running because we never told it to stop. So let's select that actions frame again. And at the very beginning, enter, arrow up, S-T-O-P, open, close bracket, semicolon. Test movie test. We're sitting here on a frame. That's actually frame four. I press it, and I'll go to this one. I think that's enough for this tutorial. I don't want them to get too long. There's going to be a follow-up. It'll be flash cs6 tutorial 15 random question test part 2 so i suggest you save this fla if you plan on doing that second part i hope you learned something from this tutorial and i hope you use what you learned